okay so very good morning so in the last class i have explained about the the features of the amplifiers so it is what are the features of it is a direct couple and what are the what are the features of the rc couples and the features uh, uh, of it is a transformer coupled and uh, audio frequency and uh, it is a radio frequency amplifiers and about voltage and this power amplifier features is also studied in the previous class okay and in this class i am going to explain about it is feedback amplifiers here okay this is feedback in the amplifiers so in this class we are going to study it is feedback in amplifiers and it is what are the types of the it is feedback and uh, in this what do you mean by the small signal amplifier and uh, it is common emitter rc coupled amplifier it's a circuit diagram working and uh, it's a frequency response and advantage is signed also it is uh, also it is a disadvantage of it is common emitter rc coupled amplifier is going to be studied in this class here okay so in this case what do we mean by it is feedback in the amplifiers it is the process of sending it is part of the output signal of an amplifier it is back to the input of the amplifier is called as the what feedback okay suppose consider in this case it is an amplifier and the actual input signal is applied from the source and the output is taken at the other end so it is an output signal so in, in this case whatever the output has been obtained it is once again is going to be included with the input here so it is the process of sending it is part of the output signal it is a in this case whatever the output has been obtained in this it is going to take it is some part of the signal and it is going to be inputted again for an amplifier so so it is the process of sending it is part of the output signal of an amplifier it is back to the input of the amplifier is called as the feedback here okay so this is the feedback here this is an amplifier this is an input this is an output and in this whatever the output has been obtained it is some part of the output is again inputted for the amplifier this is itself is called as the feedback and if you take the types of the feedback so in this case especially so the feedback is mainly classified into of the main it is two types here okay so uh, it, it is one is it is positive feedback and it is also called as of it is it is a regenerative feedback and the another one is it is the negative feedback and also called as of it is the degenerative okay feedback so what the or the difference between it is these two types is whether the feedback signal is in phase or out of phase with the input signal if it is in phase with the input means this is also going to be it is positive feedback so it is having the phase shift of the zero degree and if it is having the out of phase means it is applicable for it is the negative feedback and in this case what the phase shift is equal to 180 degree okay so if you take the types of the feedback is mainly classified into of the main two types one is it is positive feedback and it is also called as of it is the regenerative and another one is the negative it is also called as of it is degenerative in the positive feedback its phase is equal to 0 degree the output and the input is uh, is having the phase shift of the 0 degree which is called as in phase in the negative it is having an out of phase which is equal to 180 degree phase shift here okay so if you see the in detail about this positive feedback okay it is suppose consider in this case it is the input from the source and it is the summer here and the this is the the input for an amplifier this is an amplifier and the output is taken it is from the amplifier 
so you are using the feedback means it is it is some part of the output is taken as the, the feedback it is with the feedback network and it is inputted again for the amplifier so in this input what happens the actual source input is to be included or added with the feedback and it is inputted for an amplifier and the arrangement of the circuit in this way is is the positive feedback in which the source input is going to be get added with the feedback input and the actual input it is for an amplifier is the addition of these two this is the positive feedback okay so what this positive feedback occurs it is when the feedback signal is in phase with the input signal so if it is in phase means the phase shift is equal to 0 degree and in this case the feedback signal will add to the source signal you can see this is the feedback signal it is to be get added you can able to see the plus mark it is to be get added with the source signal and in this whatever the resulting signal is called as of it is a regenerative signal it is whatever the input signal for an amplifier or the output of this summer is called as of it is a regenerative signal and it acts as an input for an amplifier it gives a larger amplitude output signal okay than would occur is without the feedback and it is hence the input for an amplifier is to be given as vi is equal to this vs plus vf assuming the vi is an input voltage for an amplifier and vs is the source input and what is vf is the feedback input so this vi is equal to vs plus vf means that is itself is called as the positive feedback understood it's very simple if the source input is to be get added with the feedback input and uh, afterwards whatever the resulting input is inputted to the amplifier itself is called as a, what the positive feedback okay and if you take the negative feedback so in the negative feedback the only difference if it is to be compared with the positive feedback is it is to be subtracted so again it is having the source input it is having the feedback input and this is an input for an amplifier this is an amplifier output and it is some part of the output is again taken as the feedback and it is inputted for the subtractor in the what subtractor so in this negative feedback occurs it is when the feedback signal is out of phase with the input signal in in case of the positive feedback it is in phase but in case of the negative feedback it is out of phase with the input signal and in this case what the, the feedback signal will be it is going to be subtracted from the source signal you can able to see this is represented with the minus sign here it is whatever the feedback signal it is to be get a subtracted from the source signal and in this case whatever the difference occurred is called as the degenerative so the feedback signal is will be subtracted from the source signal and what this resulting signal is called as of the degenerative signal and it acts as input for an amplifier input for an amplifier and it gives a smaller amplitude output the signal than would occur without the feedback obviously if it is to be if it is to be subtracted means the input will be smaller in this case it is but it will improve the fidelity of an amplifier it is by limiting the input signal and also improve the frequency response so it will become to known in the subsequent uh, slides it is uh, so the input of for an amplifier is to be given as vi is equal to this vs minus vf so that this vi is an input for an amplifier and what this vs is the source what this vf is the feedback input okay so the only difference is in 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 the positive feedback it is to be get added in the negative feedback it is to be subtracted in the positive in the positive feedback it is having in phase with the input signal in the negative feedback it is having out of phase with the input signal and in this case it is called as of it is the degenerative and in this case it is called in the positive feedback it is called as of 
the means generated and the actual input for an amplifier is equal to it is vi is equal to this vs plus it is vf in clear in case of the positive positive feedback but in case of the negative feedback this vi is equal to it is vs it is minus vf okay this is about the negative feedback understood here okay so it is all about it is positive feedback and the negative feedback here okay and here uh, if you take the definition of the small signal amplifier so what this small signal its uh, explanation or its a definition is available in the name itself if you apply the very small signal it is for an amplifier and it can be able to take or accept that as an input and afterwards it is going to increase its amplitude level it is itself is called as the small signal amplifier the input will be very less in terms of the micro volts so what if you take the small signal amplifier or to be designed to amplify the very small signal voltage levels of only a few micro volts what the what the micro it is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 okay in terms of the micro volts the input is to be get applied it is from the sensors of the audio signal and it is one such amplifier is ce rc coupled amplifier ce is it is common emitter rc is it is a resistor capacitor coupled amplifier okay and in this case what the main purpose of this one if you take it is what this the, the main purpose of this circuit is this free amplification it is that is to make the weak signal strong enough for the further processing or amplification and if designed properly because this amplifier can provide an excellent signal characteristics okay it's it already the old or accepted input is in terms of the micro volts what this small signal amplifier it will do is it will do it is pre amplification it is going to take the very small or okay, minute input and it is to be get amplified this is the operation of the small signal amplifier it is one such example for the small signal amplifier is the ce mode rc coupled ce is it is common emitter rc coupled amplifier okay so that if you see the common emitter rc coupled amplifier so that you can able to see this circuit is the common emitter ce rc coupled amplifier here so that it is to be implemented with one bjt and it is it is whatever the resistor connected at the collector terminal is an rc and it is whatever the whatever the resistor connected at the emitter is an re and re is to be connected with the, it is with the bypass capacitor and which is indicated as an ce or it is of the cb and r1 and the r2 is is the uh, is uh, the resistor which is to be arranged in the form of an voltage divider bias and it is to be connected to the base of the transistor and it is what for this other end of the r1 and the rc is to be connected for the, the dc voltage vcc and the other end of the r2 re and the ce is to be connected for the ground here and what this uh, ce in is uh, the coupling capacitor it is used to connect for the input voltage the ac input voltage and what this c out it is to be it is used to connect the output it is for the load or for the next stage this is the arrangement of the common emitter rc coupled amplifier so it is one bjt rc re ce r1 r2 c in c out vcc v in and the v out this is the arrangement of the circuit okay it, it is what for all these okay it is what for this arrangement so the arrangement is going to do the amplification of an ac signal here in this case you if you take the capacitor c in okay if you take the capacitor c in is an input dc decoupling capacitor it is which blocks any dc component if present in the input signal from reaching the q1 base if you take this what this cn it is acting as it is coupling capacitor it is an rc coupled here so it, it is what it is used to couple the actual the actual meaning of the couple is to join two okay 
so that if you take this couple means the actual ac input is to be it is to be get coupled with the base of the transistor and if you take the capacitor so it will allow to pass only ac signal through it it is going to block the dc so in this case it is going to block any of the dc component if present at the input and allow only ac signal to pass through it this is the working of the cn in the same way if you take the c out c out is the output dc coupling capacitor c in is an input dc coupling capacitor and what this c out is an output dc okay decoupling capacitor it prevents any of the dc voltage that is from entering into the next stage or to the load from the present stage the output is taken at the at at so at the collector terminal of the it is a transistor and after that it is to be get connected to the load or for the next stage so in order to couple the output with the load or for the next stage is so that you are going to use the coupling capacitor c out and it, it is also going to block any of the dc present and it will allow to pass only ac through it and only ac signal is to be passed for the load or for the next stage okay and if you take this r1 and the r2 are the biasing resistors so what this network is going to drive it into the active region so r1 and the r2 resistors are acting as of the biasing resistor and it is used to maintain its value is used to maintain the bzt into the active active region i think already already you know about it is what do you mean by the active region This is what we mean by the saturation region, and it is what we mean by the cutoff region. It is explained in the previous classes. Okay, in order to uh, operate as an amplifier, so that operating point it should be in the uh, active region. So in order to maintain that operating point in the active region, so so this R1 and the R2 resistors is to be used here, and RC is the collector resistor, and the RE is the Watt emitter emitter resistor. Its value is equal to how much here? So the values of the RC and the RE are are so selected that it is fifty percent of the VCC gets dropped across the collector and the emitter of the transistor. So this is to done to ensure that the operating point is positioned at the center of the load line. so that this rc and the R, re value is to be chosen in such a way that it is whatever the voltage vcc is there exactly 50% of the voltage is to be get consumed by this rc and the re so if it is to be get consumed by the rc and the re this r1 and the r2 is going to be maintaining the bcd in the active region in the active region if the 50% of the voltage is to be get consumed by the rc and the re means the operating point will be exactly center of the load line so this is done to ensure that the operating point is positioned at the center of the load line in the active region okay so this rc and the re are to be is to be it is it is to be so selected that this 50% of the vcc is to be get dropped in this rc and the re and out of the 50% it is 40% of the vcc is to be dropped across rc and whatever the remaining 10% of the vcc is to be dropped in the re it is out of the 50% the rc is going to be get consumed the 40% and the re is going to consume the this remaining 10% okay and if you take the ce is an emitter bypass capacitor so the job of the ce is to is to is to bypass the alternating component of an emitter commentator if ce is not present the entire emitter current will flow through through re and it is going to cause the loss voltage drop of us will which drastically is going to reduce us the gain so what this ce it is used to bypass the ac component if it's not available means okay it is going to be get dropped uh, into across the re and uh, what this is going to reduce the, the gain in order to maintain the gain as high so the ce capacitor is to be used understood this is about it is common emitter rc coupled amplifier i am going to explain once again in brief so it is to be implemented with the bzt 
and R uh, what is the CN is the coupling input capacitor. It is used to allow to pass only the AC signal and it is used to block the DC. In the same way, C out is an output coupling capacitor. It is used to couple the output to the load or for the next phase. And it is also allowed to pass only the AC and it is used to block the DC. R1 and the R2 are the bias in the resistors and it is used to it is maintain the BZT in the active region and the RC is the collector register, RE is an emitter, emitter register and what is values of the RC and the RE is to be chosen in such a way that this 50% of the VCC is to be get consumed in RC and the RE and out of the 50% it is 40% is to be consumed in the RC and whatever the remaining 10% is to be consumed in the RE and what this CE is the bypass capacitor it is used to it is used to bypass the AC component available at the emitter terminal and if it's not available means the gain is going to be get decreased in order to increase the gain so the CE has been used and so this is about the RC coupled amplifier if you take the frequency response of the RC coupled amplifier so what this frequency response is to be plotted with the graph of it is frequency versus the gain or the output voltage okay and so if you take the frequency it is to be indicated along the what x axis and if you take then voltage or the gain is to be implemented along the it is y axis okay and it is going to take the shape as in this way here so initially increasing in the frequency increases the voltage level up to some point and after some point increasing in the frequency is going to maintain the constant output voltage and after that it is increasing in the frequency above the higher cutoff is going to decrease the voltage here so in this case what this p1 point and the p2 is called as it is cutoff it is a frequency if you take this is it is lower cutoff frequency and this is the what higher cutoff frequency okay and it is also called as an half power of half power frequencies and it is what this range is the this maximum voltage which is indicated as the v max and it is what this p1 and the p2 the voltage at this point is equal to it, it is 0.707 times of the it is maximum okay and if you take the uh, if you take the difference of fh and the fl so the existing space between the fh and the fl is called as the bandwidth of the rc coupled okay so if it has to act as an amplifier means so that you should apply the input frequency in this bandwidth only this it is above the fl and it should be it should be below the fh this is the frequency response of the common emitter rc coupled amplifier okay and if you take the advantages of the RC coupled amplifier, it can able to amplify any signal in the audio frequency range. It provides the faithful amplification of the input signal and it is the simple circuit diagram. It is by using the transistor, it is BC107, it provides an amplification factors of nearly 50. So that is, it provides an output, it is equal to 50 times greater than the input. That means if you apply the input as of the one volts, it is going to give the output as of the 50 volts. This is an amplification factor. If you take the disadvantages of the RC coupled amplifier, what this BZT amplifier is going to oscillate on the higher frequency range, it is such as of the radio frequencies also. And uh, uh, what this bandwidth is comparably, okay, the narrow, if you if you compare with the JFET amplifier, it is the Genesian field effect uh, transistor. In this, I have used the BZT here. Okay, instead of the BZT, if you are using the JFET, so it is going to increase its bandwidth here. It is going to increase the bandwidth here, increases the lower and the higher cutoff frequency ranges. Okay, this is all about uh, the feedback amplifier and the RC coupled amplifier. So in this class, I have explained about it is what do you mean by the feedback. It is part of the output is given back to the input is the feedback. 
it used to be classified into of the two types one is positive another one is the negative what this positive is called as a the regenerative what this negative is called as a the degenerative and what is positive it is going to do the addition okay the source signal is to be get added with the feedback signal and it is in phase this is the positive feedback if you take the negative its name is available its operation is available in the name itself the negative means it is to be gets oh, okay subtracted what this the feedback signal is to be subtracted from the source you are going to get the input for an amplifier and it is out of phase here this is about the negative feedback if you take the small signal amplifier it can able to take the input in terms of the small signals in terms of the micro volts is the small signal amplifier and uh, it is, which is uh, one it is one such example is of the common emitter rc coupled amplifier if you take this circuit diagram is of the common emitter rc coupled amplifier and this is the frequency response of the rc coupled amplifier this is advantages and the disadvantages and if you take the sample descriptive questions on this one means he may ask you to explain the concept of the feedback in amplifier and he is going to ask he is going to mention ask it is mentioned the types of the feed, uh, what feedback he may ask you to define the small signal amplifier he may ask you to explain the common emitter rc coupled amplifier with the frequency response or he may ask you to list the advantages sign or okay, disadvantages of the common emitter rc coupled amplifier so according to this topic so uh, all these are the possible questions to be asked okay so in the next class we are going to explain or in the in, in the next class we are going to study about the concept of the ac load line okay okay thank you okay thank you very much